Guys, today I just wanted to talk about why I'm vegan and why I will always be vegan. This isn't a video where I'm gonna try to convince you to go vegan if you're not, and I don't wanna hear it if you don't agree with my lifestyle. You are only wasting your own time watching this video and saying something negative about it. So without further ado, let me tell you a little bit about my story. So the way I see it, there are five main reasons to go vegan, and that's health, ethical, environmental, religious and spiritual, and allergy related. For me, I'm kind of vegan for all of those reasons. Um, it started when I was very, very young. I've always loved animals. I never, ever wanted to eat meat. I just thought it was gross, to be honest. And I decided to go vegetarian when I was 14. And of course, my parents like flipped out. My mom, I remember she got a book about beans. And I was like, you're not gonna get any protein, like what are we gonna do? Um, and to be fair, I was a terrible vegetarian. I, I was the kind of vegetarian where I was vegetarian 89% uh, of the time, but if I went out to eat and couldn't find anything vegetarian, I would have chicken nuggets. It was incredibly rare and I never wanted to eat them. And I remember thinking every time that I felt bad about it while I was eating it. Um, because I had chosen to be vegetarian for ethical reasons. I didn't even know that it could improve your health, honestly. And no one was really, at least in my circles, talking about it. And I wasn't big into documentaries or YouTube or anything at that time. So, fast forward to when I was probably 18 years old, I started watching videos from people like Morgan Joyce and Nicole Greenleaf. And these are just people that talk about like body modifications and tattoos and stuff, but they also just so happened to be vegans and they were talking about animal cruelty and things that they cared about um ethics blah 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 and i really resonated with all those things but i never felt like i could do it like i never felt like i could go vegan i just thought that that was so extreme i didn't know if there would be anything to eat like i was seeing it the way a lot of other people see it where they're like oh but then you can't have anything you just eat grass, you know. <laughs> I started going to college and I was still not eating meat. The only options for food were um, I could go to one of our dining halls and get pizza. I could go to the other one and get a grilled cheese. And I could go to the store and get some sort of like microwavable macaroni and cheese. Or um, I used to get like queso and chips. Um, like the jar of Totino's. So it was so, so, so much cheese I was consuming. And I got really sick. I developed lactose intolerance from just way too much intake of cheese. I gained a lot of weight. I felt really, really ill all the time. I was like nauseous. I was bloated. I was uncomfortable, everything. And so I came home that summer and I was like, I should just do it, right? I should just go vegan. So I did. It was like an overnight change. I didn't, um, my advice to people generally is to kind of cut one thing out, of t out at a time and find replacements that you like or just, you don't even have to replace anything, but just do it slowly so you're not shocked into it. But for me, I was just feeling so bad that I just did it. And it was not that hard. I was shocked. Um, I still had tons of food to eat. There were lots of replacements. The only real issue was that my family was still eating the standard American diet. They would be eating meat and my dad would be making food for everybody and he'd be like, oh, do you want some? We won't tell anyone as if my veganism was like fat or for appearances. So I just had to deal with that a lot. I mean, they're all vegan now, so they know how... Uh, <laughs> irritating that must have been but it was very quickly that you know I lost a little bit of weight I felt so 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 much better um, and really it was just a feeling that I needed I didn't need to look different I didn't need to lose weight I just needed to feel better um, so that's when I discovered that there are 
health side effects to being vegan. Later on, doing a lot of research and watching a lot of documentaries and becoming more and more passionate about veganism every day, I learned about the severe environmental impact of animal agriculture and how the world is truly in rapid decline because of it. And it's like the number one cause of global warming is factories, farming, and just, it's so, so devastating. And I learned how much of an impact you can make as a vegan on that industry, even just one. I wanted to really accumulate all of my knowledge on it. I, I started going to festivals. I started um, talking to other people about it in a very kind way. I was never pushy and my whole family ended up going vegan, even my extended family. That's when I sort of decided that I was vegan for everything. Like, I was vegan for the animals first, I was vegan for my own allergies and like my problems with dairy, and I was vegan for the environment, and I felt that the less suffering I contributed to, the lighter I felt in my own mind. I've been vegan now for about four years, and truly, it just gets better and better every day because when I started off being vegan, I was very unhealthy vegan. I did not care at all about my health, really. I knew that I always wanted to be like a fit, thin person. I was very obese and I was still eating oil. I was still eating processed foods. I was still eating a lot of bread, a lot of pasta. I was still eating, you know, vegan alternatives like fake meat and fake cheese and just all kinds of stuff that is not healthy for you. It's vegan, but it's not healthy for you. So over time I've cut out more things like that. Um, I don't eat bread. I don't eat processed food. I don't eat sugar, I don't eat oil, I don't eat any of that stuff because it doesn't make me feel good. The simpler my diet is, the more I truly enjoy vegan food and when I get to go to festivals and try new things, it's just that much more exciting because it's not in my diet all the time. And it's what helps keep veganism interesting because I know a lot of people think that they're going to feel so deprived and that they just won't have anything to eat that they used to love to eat, but there's so much good food. Again, I'm not trying to sit here and convince you, I'm just telling you that these are things that are important to me. Veganism is so, so important to me by this time in my life. It's done so many different things for me. It's helped me with my mental health. It's helped me with my weight. It's helped me with my skin. It's helped me with everything in my life. My compassion for animals, my compassion for the environment, my compassion for people. It's been so important in understanding as much as I can about this planet and about life. And obviously, yes, I truly hope for a future where as many people as possible can go vegan. And I kind of fear that if we don't slow down on animal agriculture, there's not going to be a future for anybody. And it really saddens me to see these videos of like higher level vegan YouTubers like Ravana and Raw Alignment and whoever else saying that out of nowhere they're not vegan anymore. They're not vegetarian, they're not pescatarian, they're not vegan. And it's just so sad. It's, they have made such a big influence on my life. And in the early days of me being vegan and they just made such an impact and they have so such a big following, so many people that listen to them. I can't fathom ever eating an animal again or an animal product. I can't, I can't even think of a situation where I, that would be appropriate to me ever, ever. I know that I will be vegan for the rest of my life. It's a lifestyle change. It is who I am and it is so, so important to me. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope it gave you a better insight about who I am and what I stand for as a person and if you would like me to talk more about veganism um, please let me know and I will be putting out some awesome recipes. I do have a series going of me experimenting with raw veganism and I there is so much more to come on this channel so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.